Liam knocked out the FA Cup, but happy with the performance? Some aspects. Yeah, a lot of aspects. You know, lads, I think uh, a few bits. We, we spoke beforehand about behaviours. That was a bit that disappointed me a little bit last week, second half against Barnsley. Um, you see today, that I thought the lads were terrific in terms of attitude, drive, you know, intensity right to the end, no matter the score. And I think that's, you know, that, that has to be what underpins the performance. And then, yeah, a few bits we spoke about. It comes down to you know, discipline and quality is what, what costs you ultimately. But I think there were so many good things to take out of the game, whether it be you know, the collective performance. Even first half, you know, Portsmouth started on top first 15, 20 minutes and then we shifted the momentum back with us. I thought we did a really good job of you know, engaging higher up. Uh, looked really dangerous on the counter attack, and you know I thought we wrestled the game back into our favour. You know as the half went on, first half, uh, and then and then come out second half, and obviously extremely disappointed with the manner of the goals, the type of goals we conceded. But you know around them there were so many uh, so many good aspects in terms of control, but also a real purpose to it in terms of getting into dangerous areas. The response shown by your side after going three one down just after the break was a good one, wasn't it? They they showed good heart and commitment. Yeah, that's what I challenged the lads with beforehand. So no matter what happens in the game, can you come in at the end, of, you know, at the end of it, and know that you've done everything for for yourself, for the team, you know, for the for the club, you know, from minute one to you know the final whistle. That's the challenge that has to be in there. We have to fight. We have to scrap. And you know, irrespective of the the scoreline, we have to believe that we can get something from games. Two penalties makes it difficult, doesn't it, on your on your team if you're going to give two cheap goals like that away? Yeah, and and, and not get them your end as well. I think that's probably a. A little bit of a frustration when you you know you see moments back. So um, yeah, you, you, you can't give away you know cheap goals like that. But um, you know I think I think it's it's disappointing, obviously, um, and it's not something that you know we want to repeatedly do. But you know for me the biggest thing is to to take away the positives you know into into the game next week. The positives you are playing the ball out from defence, you were breaking their lines, and there was lots of good football played in an attacking sense. Yeah, but really progressive with it as well. I thought we uh, yeah we we built well for you know for pretty much all the game um, and I thought we had really good control mid third and I thought we progressed into really good areas high up the pitch um, you know, like I thought Nathan, Nathan Holland looked extremely dangerous at times uh, Conor Grant had a really good impact second half you know when he, when he played fairly central some of the you know the, the balls he picked up in between the lines centrally to cause problems was very good so um, yeah that, that, that's why it's such mixed emotions I think um, the lads know it as well the lads are quite honest with themselves they know that you know the, when you actually look at the performance there were so many positives to take but when you play like that, there is going to be a chance that you might give the ball away. It's, a, it's a, sometimes a risky policy, and that's uh, that's possibly what happened and why you conceded some of the goals. Yeah, and that's on me. I'm asking the lads to do it, so you know, we're not going to change. I think that's the biggest thing when you look at the personnel we've got, but also the control it gave us. You know, if you stop doing that, we don't then get the control that we had second half. So we have to be brave. We have to ultimately, you know, have more quality, make better decisions, be more proactive with our thinking um, in order for you know the mistakes not to happen. Um, uh, but you know, like I said, it's, it's on me. I want I want the lads to play. I want the lads to be brave and get on the ball. Um, and you know, it, it allowed us to dominate like we did second half. Two good goals as well, particularly the first. I mean, the ball from Dawson to Boy is fantastic and a good, cool finish. Yeah, yeah, two for I. I thought the first the first one was a really good counter attacking moment. Um, you know, two two lads linking and then you know the, the composure under pressure to finish like he did. It was a terrific goal from Dara. Um, and then yeah, the one second half I thought was a real good team goal in terms of the build-up down the left-hand side to get in, and then you know Mo doing what Mo does best. I suppose the positive of not getting equaliser is no replay. Yeah, look, it, the initial emotion is that we're obviously disappointed. We wanted to win, we wanted to progress. Um, we haven't, so then you look bigger picture, and, and what it allows us to do is obviously you know shift our focus back under the league, which is as we know is paramount at the moment. Um, so that, that's where our energy now goes, is you know, getting prepared to, to do everything we can to be ready for next Saturday. It's not, and it's hard not to look at those next two home games. In fact, the third one as well, really crucial games for your side. Yeah, of course. I think every game is at the moment. And irrespective of where you are on the table, I think every game is you know, so important. I don't think you ever go into a game taking it lightly. So we know, obviously, the having you know, games at home uh, on our pitch... Um, and, and taking the things out of today, I think that's what we'll look at this week. Take take the positives, of course. Look at the things that we have to be better at, um, and work at it. We've got, you know, fortunately we haven't got a game midweek, which is a, a good thing. It means we can, you know, get some training into the lads, you know, preparing for next week. And you know, we have to be ready to to take the positive aspects from from today and, and build on the things that weren't quite right. Just a final one from me. You went with the back four again. Is that something you might go with in the league? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, we'll see. Saw the chairman down there talking to you. He looked fairly animated. What was his take on the game? He, he was he was really pleased with the performance. I think that was ultimately in a nutshell. He's obviously, of course, disappointed to lose, but 
you know, I think he he also knows what he wants it to look like, and he he, he thought it was very close to that second half. Um, he was, like I said, he, he was really pleased with so many aspects, as we all are. I think, um, of course, it doesn't doesn't hide the fact that we you know we gave away poor goals and we lost, but for the same point, bigger picture, when you it's what's exciting about the group is uh, you know when you when you look at the age of some of the lads, you know, Dara Dawson, Connor Grant. You know, so, so many of the lads that are going to progressively get better. Um, you know, there, there was a huge, huge amount to take from the game, um, and and he sees that. So uh, yeah, he was he was overall he was pleased with the performance. I think arguably probably the best we've seen of Dawson Devoy today as well. Yeah, Dawson, I thought Dawson Dawson showed some really high level moments and showed what he's about. I think he, uh, you know, his his bravery to get on the ball, but then his quality. Um, you know, I thought it was was it was very very good. Um, and he, he you know, he's still got bits to work on and. At times can carry more of a threat, but you know I think in terms of when you look at you know his temperament emotionally and you know the age he's at and what what progress he can make, you know he's an exciting one. I certainly think all the changes made made an impression as well when you when you brought players on. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, like, it, it's one of those that, you know the squad's needed. Um, you know, I thought Connor came on had a good impact. We, we wanted to tweak it just a little bit in terms of you know him running the depth and causing causing problems that way. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, I thought he had he had, a, he had a real positive impact. You know, Heath, Heath came on did some good things. Henry, I thought there was you know n numerous lads that had impact, and that's what we need in the team. We need people to step up and be ready to deliver when called upon.